I would like to pay my respects to our elders, past, present and future, and any elders here with us today. I also pay my respects to the land where we are standing on today, which is our mother and Bunjil, the great creator spirit, our father. Woman Jinka, Uri Yal Yal, once along Bunurong, big big. Welcome our many friends to Bunurong country. Please look after her. For me, these places like this, it's the classroom, it's, it's teaching us and every, every day changes when you come down to places like the Bass Coast and Phillip Island. It's never the same, the stories are never ending and the creations are always happening from day to day. For me, walking these sands is recreating and walking in the footsteps of my elders and ancestors from the past. It's about reconnecting, connecting and the spirits guide you and take you to these places that they've accessed and used for over you know, 40,000 years. The Bass Case in particular is uh, very important to us. Uh, there's a lot of significant sites uh, to, to Bunurong people uh, along this coast and it was a, was a huge resource for us. These cliffs are like our, our cathedrals. This is our church. Uh, when we come here, it is, it is a spiritual place to us uh, and it connects us to, to our country and, and to Mother Earth. As you walk along these sand dunes and coastlines, you see the evidence of Bunurong people, the stories that they're left behind the midden sites, the hearth features, the artefact scatters. It's a continuous story right around this island and along the Basco Shire. In the summer months, mutton birds were plentiful. They had returned from their annual migration and numbered thousands in the rookeries along the south coast of the island. Phillip Island is probably one of the biggest cultural landscapes that has very little information about it. And the places that we do know of, it holds the stories of our ancestors and that just gives us a little insight into how Bunurong people lived and enjoyed and loved this part of our lands. We're still here, we haven't changed, and we're still doing cultural practices and telling them Bunurong stories that have been told for thousands and thousands of years. As a traditional custodian of this land, we ask you to look after her, care for her, love her. Woman Jenka.